What in the actual fuck? You seen a longer uh, what thing. What the fuck? There's no way. Why is that on there that tight? All the boost. Alright, we ain't playing around. Hi. Well, we are going to be stripping down the uh, uh, L67. We're going to be removing the supercharger, the exhaust, oh, Lord. most of the timing stuff, valve covers, and then eventually the cylinder heads. We're just going to be taking it off and placing everything on our table here. So, we're going to be taking a look at this. What size is that? Ten. Oh, there we go. And all, all this is is just getting a little this is to get this. Do you want an electric shot. ratchet? That might be a good idea. That's loud. That's not that loud. They're gonna go right back in. So, no, 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 no. This one, this one. And they're gonna go right back in. Just get this shit off. So I put them in there. Yeah, oh, put okay. them back in. Oh, it looks like someone's uh. Rebuilt this before. The supercharger. You can see uh, RTV on the snout right here. You can probably, eh, you can barely see it right there, but you can see RTV here. And then uh, lower down, you can see RTV where they did the lower intake manifold. So this engine was obviously taken care of, which is nice. Because we're not going to take care of it. Like it's going to get fucking flogged. <laughs> hey, are these tens? They don't look like tens. They are. Ooh, there you go. Let's start on that supercharger. Actually, let's get the uh, let's fuel get rail. let's get the fuel rail off. They're eights, I think. Here, I also have another useful tool. If we drop anything, that's like magnet deep in a crevice. Mm. Yeah, I got a little magnet. It's good. Oh, this one doesn't even have one. <clears throat> Looks like someone's losing the nuts. You losing nuts? What? No, no, no. The previous owner is losing nuts. Oh, this one does have three. No, no, no. What was that? What was that? That was the magnet. Oh, yeah. We're also going to have to take off the alternator bracket first. See, on my car, this... Didn't have this weird alternator bracket. So it is only two, I guess. Oh really? This one didn't even have Plus, a nut on it. The, the previous owner, I guess, lost it. Move this alternator support. I need to put my gloves on. In fact, it's only finger tight, so. I was going to say, I also have magnetic impact bits, Oh yeah. yeah we are so if we wanted to use those. Um, I have all the way from uh, 4 to 11. Yeah. In fact, we probably won't even need to put this back in the car. Yeah, honestly. I hate these alternate markets, they just get in the way. So these... Bucket. I didn't break it. I did break it, but that's so, fine. Yeah. There's some back and ends on this one. Just pull them out. If they break, we're gonna do all new ones anyways. There. Yeah, it broke. Yeah, just bounce the engine. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> These injectors look pretty good that too. That is dirty as fuck. Mm. I don't know if you can see. Oh that. my god! What the <laughs> fuck? Oh, uh, there's gross. no way that that could have been Wait, usable. Well, it's trying to focus. Here, put the flashlight on it. There's no way that could have been usable. What the fuck? Hold on. Do it like this. Give me. There hold we go. You want to hold it? Or you well, I was it. trying to do a video hold of it. Okay, I'll hold it for you. It's not. Well, I mean, they keep it right there. Already. I'm gonna be using those injectors, so it doesn't really matter. Hurry. Well, uh, just come over whenever. Alright, see ya. Bye. So, is gonna be coming over soon.
there. Yeah. Then me and Davis, it took us fucking. Well, to get it you also oh, have yeah. to think that was in your car. Yeah, but I doubt this will be any easier. Well, then we need to pry it off like we did uh, in my car. Yeah. Plus, so. this moves. When we had it in my car, it, it would move. Gonna so, we need a rubber mallet and we need a, a big, big pry. Oh, they use the fucking. Oh, uh, maybe this is RTV. They use the paper gasket like nerds. Can't really see much in there. Oh, that, that came easy. off easy. Nice. That was easy. Oh, it's, let's it's catch this. Oh. Oh yeah, you know what? Where's the alarm? Do No. That's the eleven bolt. Ew. You need me to break it? Uh, yeah, that's. Okay, so you got it loose. So I can take it now. Ew. Doesn't look like it's the last right. Somebody effed that one up. No, I think it was just from moving the supercharger is what it was. Oh, okay. But that's fine. Okay, so we're loose now on it. Now it can come off and be put on the table. Careful, it's heavy. Isaiah Strong. Let's look at the bottom of it here. Just gotta clean up that surface. That's crazy. Yeah, this guy did just like, you know, we're using that. This slide's for nice. These are good. You know what you can do? You can weld. You can weld or JB weld these uh, these things uh, closed, and they're silence reports. Uh -huh. So it'll make the supercharger really loud. three times as loud. Is that have you? Is that on yours or? No, fuck no. But if we wanted to, we could do that. Oh my god! Well, this one, this supercharger is going See, to Austin, so. Oh, that's true. Uh, so. So yeah, certainly do it then. So um. To to port this basically to get the same efficiency as the uh, the Gen 5 basically what they do is they completely take this out So to keep this line it uh, you machine this out completely and then you machine the rest of this uh, to be flush with that oh, and yeah. Basically More. just that is able to build enough really? boost to because the gen 5 only makes about like maybe two like pounds more boost than the gen 3 but And just then they also that the same yeah, size. and then they also port the inlet to 75 millimeter instead, in, of, 72. instead of 72 to uh, Match the v8 throttle body. Yeah, so that's that's what mine and my body has yep. So and it's all that and we could do that ourselves. Yeah, definitely Ooh, this is yeah, just a bunch oh, of that's cuts loose yeah. But uh, this actually we could completely delete. So this uh, releases the boost. We could completely delete that. Now I got, I'm about to have two fast V6s. True. So this is the lower intake manifold. V6 life. Oh, so yeah, you should tell us there. about the oh, right. lower intake awesome. manifold. Huh? The, the ported in lower intake manifold. So, Motors. so basically, uh, to uh, to I mean this all well, this is only about this size, but people what they do is they port this out to about here, and I don't know exact measurements, but basically they just take this off and that's all, and then they take this uh, this support out, and it uh, gives more airflow. I, I think they actually they cut it both, yeah, both sides, but uh, I guess that gives more airflow. I mean I don't I don't see how when the supercharger is only only so big, so I don't know. That's what people do. And it's cheap and easy to do. So All right. Uh, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bolts. Should be yeah. about that. Should we take the alternator off? Um, it it might be easy. harder to get it off with the clearance right here. That's what I'm saying. Put bolts in on it. Uh, that was easy. But banana bread from work, dude. Hell yeah. Jesus, long bolt. Yeah. There you go. That thing's got thread for days. Holy shit. We could probably put this one back on. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, it's got the ground on it, too. What a pain in the ass. It's so stupid. They put it ground there.
and then my bag by my tool set. I just have all the alternating bolts going for it. Yeah, that's a long bolt. I'm pretty sure this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. it's just you, like I said. Yeah, you're right. Alright, so that gives us a bit more room to Here. remove that. Hello? 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 Ooh, ooh. Didn't want to go. Hey, dude, there's a key tap on there for me. These bolts are just lonely. They want. They just don't let go. So I think this is our TV. Oh, nope, it's crap. not either. The, what the fuck? What's yeah, it is on then? the front. No. Nope. Yeah, there is some. Oh, so they just use that. Because they used the paper gasket again, which is garbage. Fucking paper gaskets are still garbage. Doesn't want to let go of my socket. <laughs> what the fuck is up with this? I've never seen bolts do this. Like, do it consistently. Oh. Yeah, dropping it on the floor. Oh, yeah, shit. Cool. Oh, that was just undid already. You gotta take that off. Hey, you guys, can you get like a. It's like a, like a six, six mil? Or seven. Which one is it? Seven? Yes, yeah, seven. Mm. Why didn't we just cut them off? Good idea. Still hasn't come out? No. Let me see that being shit. A bitch. Let me see that shit. Oh, I cursed on YouTube. You just have to be better. Okay, on. There you go. You just throw it on the ground really hard. Yeah, that's a trick that my uncle taught me. That was an ordeal. Fucking nerd. Yeah. Hey, that's Mr. Nerd too? Or not. I don't know. Whatever you prefer. You're not a Mr. You don't have a wife. I do. Single. You're right. True. No, you do. Oh, this one's stuck now. No, no, it's fine. Don't say that. It's fine. It's fucking stuck. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. What? The fuck? What? What? Hello? Did you break the wrench? No. Oh, wait. Where's my, where's my wrench? This cannot possibly be a small size. Uh, uh, I have easy outs if we need them. Here, let's just get a... What a fucking pain. Easy outs real good. Yeah, I think this easy out was maybe a bit too small for it, but hammering it on made it. Do you want to get that? You know, give me just the easy out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we need. All right, here we go, boys. Now we just got one more. Just gotta beat it like a redheaded stepchild. Like you? Yeah. What an adorable face. Oh God, no. Yes! Give me the impact. This should just come out pretty nice. Yep. Yeah. Pull straight up. Caught on uh, something? No. Yeah, it's caught on this. What is oh, it it's a hose. There we go. Oh no, that's just the guides. Okay. Nice. Oh, well, look at that. They actually had metal gaskets. That's nice. Those are actually really nice gaskets. Reuse them! We almost could. But we're probably not going to. Well, all the RTV and See, stuff. Oh yeah, we, we need new guides anyways. These guides. Nice. Now we toss that. What, the manifold? Yeah. Take a scrapyard and make like a couple cents, 25 cents. No, we'll have them for, uh, for uh, 26. These are pretty nice. Like look how bad, look how bad the deck school has gotten the engine. That's why you don't use deck school in an engine. That's what happens. Rusty? It's not rusty, that's the actual deck school. Mm. And it clogs up everything, like... If I had a screwdriver, I could like, really start prying it off, but it's gross. Delicious. Uh, and even, like, all the, well, all this, the all ports for the, yeah. the injectors are yep. all dirty as hell. Look at all this shit in the bottom of the valley. So I bought uh, 18, I bought the springs last night. Yeah. The guy's taking them out of, him, out of his car today. Oh jeez. And uh, he only he said he put less than 2,000 miles on it for 130 pound springs, and so that would mean that I've saved over 400 bucks on all the big parts. Yeah, definitely. Because the MSRP of everything, including what we haven't bought, is uh, was over 1,800 dollars, and what I've spent. We have a spreadsheet with everything on it. 
And uh, we could probably put it in the description just as like a read-only type thing so you can see the progress. So I looked at the spreadsheet last night and including the stuff I haven't bought, um, it says that we our build is uh, $1,800 in total. Not including the car. Not including the car or the engine. And uh, what I've spent, including what I will spend, including uh, not including the parts I haven't bought yet, is fifteen hundred bucks. So I've already saved three hundred bucks buying the cam, the time chain, the uh, the, uh, the pulley, uh, the push rods. What else? Uh, and then another hundred bucks I saved on valve springs because they retail for two hundred bucks, and I got it for hundred. You got the timing oh. chain as well. Yeah. Oh, and then I got the throttle body as well. The, yep. uh, the, the polished, polished uh, throttle body. So I've saved over 400 bucks already, which is crazy. I didn't think I was going to save that much. but I was surprised at just how many parts were available out there that just you picked up like immediately. Like yeah, you, you looked for like two, then, yeah, a day. I, and like one guy had three different things. Oh, and injectors. I got injectors. And normally they retail for 250 yeah. for six. Well, I got that and the timing chain, which retails for 135 both for 220 which is a crazy good deal. Yep. And that guy who's selling the uh, the injectors, he has this crazy uh, twin-charged uh, setup on his Grand Prix that we might want to try and do with the uh, the Camaro. Yep. In fact, he knows a friend who's selling uh, selling one of those F-Body uh, turbo kits. Yeah. He said he's in no, uh, no hurry to sell it, so he might still have it when we go to buy one. I don't know though. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. All right. Well, we should take the exhaust manifolds off as well, and I say we should take the valve covers off. I just want to see in there. Yeah, we can definitely take the manifolds off too. There's no point in keeping them on. Yep. <clears throat> Now, oh, we'll also need to take off this. We're, we're going to do the water pump or take that off so we can get to the timing chain. Yep, we'll want to put down the tarp. I say, Just sounds like case. Vince might be here. He's not allowed in. Thank you very much. 